Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today I'm sitting here. Can you listen? You hear that? It's silence. <laughs> uh, Devin took the kids over to his dad's house to visit them, and I stayed behind because I had to get some work done and uh, just cutting fabric and stuff. And then I ended up cleaning up a lot, and now I'm sitting here crocheting. <laughs> I'm working on my corner to corner um, blanket. It's gonna be a little like a baby blanket. And I'm using Mandala Baby Yarn, and it's Pixie Hollow, yeah, is the color. But, uh, so I'm just, I just picked it up to start working on it. I was playing the video game for a little while, and I was watching some, um, See No Evil <laughs> on Discovery Plus, and I thought that I would hop on here and just do a little crochet and chat, because, uh, I have a chance to record, and it's quiet here. It is kind of dark in this room, because it is night time, so the only lighting I have is lamps and um i mean i have my tripod but it's in there and i didn't want to go get it <laughs> so i'm just sitting here um chugging away on this little thing i just picked it up and did a few dusters whatever they're called uh, the, the uh corner to corner <laughs> uh so i'm using a g hook i think this one yeah this is four millimeter um so my phone's kind of laggy the other day when it lagged it uh was in the video that way too so i don't know what makes that happen but anyways what are you guys working on let me know in the comments down below what you're working on tonight it is actually it's thursday today's thursday oh today's june's birthday <laughs> the it's her actual birthday this morning at 6 47 she turned a year old and uh yeah so we didn't do anything today <laughs> so we had her party but yeah so i was just um cutting up some batting and interfacing for bags i'm going to be working on starting tomorrow um i had planned to do a whole bunch of notion pouches next for next week to put in the shop but i kind of don't want to do that many notion pouches all at once so i'm going to split it up so what i'm going to start working on tomorrow is i got nine tote bags um i gotta cut the liners for that i just remembered i did not do that i still gotta cut the liners for the tote bags um Nine tote bags. Oh, the six Valentine's Day uh, drawstring bag notion pouch sets. There's six of them. And then uh, seven or eight zipper notion pouches by themselves. Uh, and then the next update will be the other seven or eight zipper notion pouches and 11 snap closures. And. Uh, some drawstring bags. <laughs> I think there's like seven or eight of them that I got cut right now. And uh, I actually have another one that I've made last shop update, but I forgot to take pictures of it. So it, it didn't make the shop update. <laughs> it's already done. I just um, forgot to add it to the shop update. And I got a new pattern that I want to work on. I'm going to do it tomorrow, I think. Um, I might go in there here in a few minutes. Just crochet for a little bit and chat with you guys for a little bit and then go in there. But it's another thing that I'm thinking about adding to my shop soon. If it comes out the way I like it. If it's not super complicated to make more than one of them. And if I can make the cost and cost of the materials versus the profit of, you know, the amount that I could charge for it. If that's good enough to be worth making. Um, so I, I just have to sit down and work with it. I've seen, I seen a uh, video on YouTube about it and... Uh, I thought that it would be cool to start making those for my shop, so I'm going to try to figure it out. Uh, I have a whole bunch of fat quarters around here somewhere. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what I did with them. They're in a box. I'm, I, I remember putting them in a box. <laughs> I just have to remember where I put said box. Um, so I think it's maybe in our bedroom somewhere. But uh, I want I want to use, pull them out to practice making this pattern with. So that I don't have to cut up any of my big fabric to just practice that pattern um from her video it seems simple it wasn't her video wasn't like a tutorial it was just like a preview of it um because you have to buy her tutorial you know it's like a written pattern a sewing pattern but i think going from just the um the video i can i know the gist of how to make it i just don't know the exact size and she uses but that's just as well because um you know, because then if I just do it my own way, it'll be my own pattern, kind of, you know, if that makes sense. 
I've seen these same things before by other people. It's not like she came up with the idea of it. But yeah, so I'm just sitting here working on this little blanket. I have no idea what size this will be. It probably won't be too big. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> uh, because I'm first of all, I'm using a smaller hook. It's a smaller yarn. And I do have three cakes of it, but um, they take a little bit more yarn to decrease. So if I use a hoe cake to increase it, which is my plan, and then I start decreasing, it should take a, a little bit more than a hoe cake to decrease it. And then I can maybe put a border on it if I want to. Sometimes I don't think corner to corners need borders. They just, they look better in my opinion sometimes without a border on them. But I will judge that when I actually get there. <laughs> so. But I w after I started this, I got this for you. I, know, I was, I was kind of wishing I had done the mini one. <laughs> where it's half double crochets. Because I, I feel like I can do a half double crochets a lot faster than double crochets. But maybe I'll try to remember that next time. I'm really just trying to stash bust a little bit. I did really good last year using only yarns that I had already. Um apart from two balls of Red Heart Super Saver Amethyst that I did buy. But I then did also use them <laughs> after I bought them. So, so far this year I have not bought any yarn. But, I mean, it's only January. <laughs> so, but my goal is to kind of not buy yarn unless I really, really want it. Or it's like really, really cheap. Because I have a whole lot on hand. And I want to use it up. I need to clear out some shelves. Because <laughs> I'm starting to get so much fabric stuff. And, well, sewing stuff. And, um junk journal stuff that I'm running out of room I need to instead of getting more organization thingies I need to just clear out a shelf and then I can put other stuff on the shelf <laughs> so I do in here in the living room I got a, a uh, shelf of cake yarns that I was gifted I'm pretty sure I was gifted all of them and uh, I'd like to go through them so that's why I pulled out these mandala cakes to start working on and I'm hoping to use up the majority of it on this blanket. And then whatever's left, I will try to figure something out to make with it. <laughs> Maybe some hats or something. Little baby hats. Or something. I have no idea. I'll get I'll I'll judge that when I get there. <laughs> but I'm just chugging away on this little corner of the corner. Uh this is kind of my mindless project. I finished my uh polar bear square for the January part of the crochet along that Repeat Crafter Me is hosting. I finished it earlier and I also finished that red spider that I was working on. So all of my Halloween amigurumis for January are done. So I feel good about that. And I also decided, like I love entering the fair. It's a lot of fun, but I think this year I'm not going to enter the fair. Mostly because I'm just so busy with June. She's a little bit more <laughs> Of a handful than Jesse was when he was that age. Um, and I just don't want the extra mental strain of trying to think of what to make for the fair. Like I put a little bit of thought into it already and I was already just thinking about it. It was stressing me out. Because I don't want to have to finish anything. <laughs> I don't want to do anything that uh, puts more pressure on me. Because I already got a lot going on you know with uh, all my household you know take care of the house and the kids and my husband and cooking and all that stuff plus YouTube videos and Etsy shop stuff you know and they're all that stuff it just it builds up you know and I don't want to have to add another thing to the pile so I think I'm going to choose to skip this year entering the fair unless I do like I did last year because last year I basically did that too but at the last minute I just went ahead and gathered up stuff that I had made that year and entered it. I think I entered like 12 things last year. And it was stuff that I didn't make purposely for the fair. It was just stuff that um, I had made. So I might do that. But you know I have until the end of August to to worry about that. But I don't want to purposely um, get started on anything. Just with the fair in mind. Because I don't want to stress myself out over getting stuff done. Because I have a lot of other things I want to do throughout the year that I would rather do. Like, I'm going to be doing a collab starting soon with some people. And I want to do that uh, Repeat Crafter Me blanket. And I'm going to add more squares to it so it's bigger. And I want to make those Halloween things, you know. And just, 
and I'm going to be doing the um, seasonal yarny YouTube hop. <laughs> I just forget how it's worded. With Kim at the Crafty Nomad and all the people who do that. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, so I would rather do those things than just focus on fair stuff. But maybe like next year when June is older and is more is better at playing with herself, you know, uh, maybe I will change my mind and next year get hot back into it. I just I just don't want to have to think about any more things than I have to already. But yeah, so I'm not sure how long Devin and the kids are gonna be gone. They've already been gone for a couple hours, so I appreciate um, some time by myself sometimes. Uh, it's nice to not have to um, worry about where the baby is or one of them asking for something <laughs> but I do miss them when they're gone of course but I do enjoy the breaks <laughs> so I did I sat in there um at my table when I was cutting out all that uh batting and stuff and I was watching Discovery Plus and uh got all that stuff cut out and got it all organized and ready to go I did forget to cut liners though. I gotta cut liners for those tote bags. Um, I'll do that tomorrow, I guess. Cause I don't wanna go do it now. I already, you know, cleaned up everything. I'll do it later. <laughs> but, and then I'll probably start sewing tomorrow. I'll start quilting everything that needs to be quilted. And uh, all that jazz. I cleaned up the kitchen, unloaded the dishwasher of clean dishes and loaded up what dirty dishes was in there. In there I washed the things that needed to be hand washed I even went in there and picked up Jesse's room a little bit um, picked up the living room I swept because it needed it really bad <laughs> and uh, you know I start I was putting away things that need you know where they needed to go I put them up instead of just piling them up because I, I have a bad habit of like collecting them in a bag and then I leave the bag set in the living room for a while but I went ahead and just put everything away where it needs to go so that is something I don't have to do tomorrow yeah it was cold here today um in the 30s I think the high today was like 37 or something like that so it's pretty chilly we didn't get any snow I'm not even sure if it flurried here but I wasn't expecting us to get snow some of the higher up mountain areas got some I got us but yeah, so I'm just sitting here and chatting. It's been 13 minutes. <laughs> uh, so I will probably go ahead and hop off here. And uh, what was I planning on doing? I forgot. <laughs> I was just thinking about it and then I forgot what I was thinking about. Uh, I don't really want to go cut that fabric right now. I don't really want to do anything right now but sit here and crochet. <laughs> but, uh, I need to, February's in just a few days, really, less than a week, so I need to start thinking about what my, um, Halloween project will be for February. I've got a few patterns saved on my Ravelry, uh, on one of my lists there. I made a, what is it called? It's like a folder. <laughs> Oops. So, I'll go peruse that later sometime, and figure it out but yeah I guess I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this row right here and then I'm going to hop off here and find something else to do I guess <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think if we need to do anything tomorrow I'll probably just go check the mail oh I do have a couple bags of clothes I need to donate stuff that the kids have outgrown and just some stuff that I cleaned out my part of the closet the other day and I'm just getting rid of a bunch of clothes that I haven't pulled out more in a while um so I'm gonna donate them and then eventually when I get some extra Ella money <laughs> I will um pick up a few more tops I need a few more um well I don't need them but I want a few more tops I don't know what style or anything like that I'll just have to go shopping one day when I have the extra money and uh see what appeals to me all right i'm gonna finish this last row up i'm almost done and then i'm gonna go do something <laughs> i have no idea what i'm gonna do let's see here i probably won't get this video out it's it's thursday that i'm filming it but i'll probably get it out friday 
Is it Thursday? Yes, it is. It is. It is Thursday. <laughs> I was uh, second guessing myself there for a second, but uh, I'll probably I'll wait and edit it in the morning. Um, so, but anyway, still let me know what you're working on and share links if you want to while it jazz. All right, there you go. I did a few rows. Where's my stitch marker? My stitch marker's right there. So I did three rows since I put my stitch marker in. I think this is a stitch marker that I got from Anjanette. I think that's from her. Hers is usually really long like this. If it's not from you, Anjanette, <laughs> uh, I sometimes forget who sent me stuff because I get a lot of stitch markers and stuff. But I'm pretty sure this is one of hers because she, like I said, she tends to make them long. Which I like using them uh, for progress keepers because you can see them. <laughs> but um, I got a million stitch markers. I've been getting them. Since, I think, 2017. The first person who ever sent me a stitch marker was Randy. <laughs> I'll remember that. Um, and they're like fish-themed ones. There's a fish one and one with like a starfish on it, I think. And uh, But I've gotten so many of them. And I got that big heart-shaped thing with them on it. And I love them all. I like to switch out and use different ones every now and then. And I have holiday ones that I use for different holidays. <laughs> so, uh, but I like it a lot. But anyways, that's how far I got it's slowly coming along it's like a bandana <laughs> or like one of those that you would wear in your hair <laughs> but um yeah this is my mindless project so i'm not in a rush to finish it but i am kind of looking forward to getting into the purples <laughs> that's one thing i like about cake yarns is it kind of makes you want to get through the color and i've heard other people talk about this and i know like terry from yarn Joe podcast she mentions it a lot but uh, it's kind of heart shaped but it is fun to, to get through the colors but i'm looking forward to getting into the purples and the pink and then attaching it. I'm not going to color control it either. I'm just going to attach the next ball <laughs> wherever it happens to land. Um, because I don't care. I don't care that much. But uh, yeah, so there it is. I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys. <laughs>